Well, listen carefully, because everything we've examined in this series has been leading up to this very point. The reason so many people reject the charge of Satan worship is because, as we saw earlier, they have a caricature of the devil and his religion in their minds. He's the horn-headed demon in red pajamas, and serving him, should he even exist, would involve sacrificing babies, drinking blood, or something else equally horrible or bizarre. In reality, though, following Satan is far more mundane and universal than most people realize or would care to admit. But I can do anything that I want to. I can pursue any kind of lustful desires that I might feel. I can uh, engage in any activities that are so-called sinful activities and not really worry about any ecumenical councils making it right for me to do these things. Living for, as I've said, all of their earthly and carnal pleasures. A satanic world is a world reborn in purity, a world where uh, the instinct and the intellect will be complementary to one another rather than uh, being at odds with one another. It will be a world in which uh, we follow laws of nature instead of just the rules that man's made up to regulate his conduct. All right, we got one rule. There are no rules. Have a good time. Do what we want. If a Christian said to you, you were just really worshipping yourself, what would you say? In a sense, they would be right. Uh, it is a form of self-worship. We feel that there is no reason why these people shouldn't just flip the coin completely over and simply call themselves what religion has called them for many, many years. Call them devil worshippers or disciples of evil or Satanists. Of course, it's very hard for a person to hang an uncomplimentary label on themselves. And for this reason, for many years, there will be people practicing Satanism as good Christians or other religions, and uh, they will in in instinctively pursue the very same things that we are, as they always have. As we've already seen, Satan is an invisible spirit and a master of disguise. His ability to pass himself off as an angel of light can fool the rebellious and the spiritually naive into thinking that black is white truth a lie, and even that God himself is the one telling them these things. And as for following the devil, many that espouse an openly satanic worldview can tell you that it's nothing like the Hollywood caricature. And that's precisely what makes it so disturbing, as the occult magazine Gnosis acknowledged. If there's anything horrifying in its teachings, it's that these are the principles by which most people live most of the time, usually without admitting it even to themselves. And just what is this core principle by which most people live? Well, in a nutshell, do what you want. Surprised? Well, Anton LaVey wasn't. He understood precisely from where this popular concept had arisen. And he must, uh, as a Satanist, knowing this, realizing what his human potential is, eventually, and here is one of the essential points of Satanism, attain his own Godhead in accordance with his own potential. Therefore, each man, each woman, is a God or gods in Satanism. Big Pimper really, man, is living life to your fullest potential. I mean, like, whatever you want to do, when you want to do it, you do it, but in the grandest way possible, you know? Uh, and for a god or goddess, what's the ultimate standard for ethics, meaning, purpose, and destiny? You've got it. Whatever you feel is right. My heart is the ruler of all my being. If my heart tells me it's true, that's good enough for me. The answers to your, to your problems are in yourself and not in a, not in a God or religion. Marilyn Manson noted the universality of the satanic ethic when he observed 
The idea of antichrist is an unspoken knowledge that every person has. It's just the acceptance of yourself as a powerful being who can make their own decisions. It's not someone with a 666 on their head. And Satanism is about worshiping yourself because you are responsible for your own good and evil. How would you define, what would you define being a Satanist as? Worship of themselves. You're worshiping yourself when you worship Satan. Aleister Crowley stated it this way in his infamous Book of the Law. Every man and every woman is a star or a god. And as we saw earlier, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Uh, I'm a, basically a free thinker. Whatever anybody wants to do, they can do whatever they want as long as it doesn't hurt other people. I live by myself, you know, I live by my own values and all that, morals. I set my own ways. How do you determine what those morals and values are? Well, I don't know, I just do what's right for myself. By declaring that each person should walk in their own light, discover and then do their true will, LaVey, Manson and Crowley, along with Nietzsche and others, have simply been echoing the father of all lies, the one that goes back to the very dawn of human history. Then the serpent said to the woman, God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Satanism then, in its essence, is simply each person looking through his or her own eyes for meaning and direction. As our own god or goddess, we're free to do as we will. Theologically, this worldview can be reduced to a single precept found in the fourth chapter of the book of Satan. Say unto thine own heart, I am mine own redeemer. Or, to put it in more common terms, the, quote, triumphant strains, end quote, of a song that LaVey and his disciples viewed as one of the most satanic of the 20th century. I did it my way. For what is a man?